So for this to be transitive, okay, for this relation here to be transitive, we should be able to go anytime we can go from, uh, let's say, excuse me, anytime we can go from from x to y and y to z, we should be able to go from x to z. Okay. Now, how do we test for transitivity? Okay. Well, to test for transitivity, we can use a a let's say there's there's a sort of a, a short way to do transitivity. Okay, to test for transitivity. Uh, well, we could, I suppose, take all the ordered pairs and see how many journeys we can we can take. Like, so for example, we can go from one to one here. Can we go from one anywhere to, to anywhere else? No, we can't. So we just exclude it. Here we can go from four to four. Can we go from four to anywhere else? Well, we can go from four to seven. So, for example, let's let's have a look at this. So I'm just trying to let's say brute force this through from a transitivity perspective. So looking at one to one, there's an ordered pair. This is our our x and our y. Is there a y z? Is there another ordered pair in here from one to something else? Uh, no, there's not. So we exclude that. Looking at four, 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 four. Well, what order pair can I order line this up with? I can line it up with four, seven. So the question now is, I can go from x to y and from y to z. Can I go from four directly to seven? Okay. Can I go from four to seven? Is that in this relation? And there it is. There. So that's good. Okay. So that's good. Seven, 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 one. So you can see that we can go from seven. 7 to 7, 1. Can I go directly into 7, 1? Uh, yes, I can. So that's good. Uh, 8, 8. Well, there's no other match for the 8, so we just exclude it. What about 4, 7? So we have uh, 4, 7 uh, can be lined up against 7, 7. And the question is, can I go from 4 directly to 7? Which I can. That's already there, so that's okay. But 4, 7 can also be lined up against uh, 7, 7, 1. Okay, and the question is, can I go from four to one? Well, I can't go from four to one in this relation. So this relation here at present is not transitive. It's not transitive, transitive. So hence, this relation is not anti. Sorry, this relation is not a partial order. But we can try to make it transitive. So let's throw this in and let's see what we get. So let's call this R four is equal to. Let's say we have one one. Four, four, seven, seven. We have eight, eight. Okay, eight, eight. Uh, we have four, seven. We have seven, one. Okay, and well, a reason why it wasn't transitive a moment ago was because we were missing the value four, one. So let's put it in here. So four, one. And now the question is: Is this relation here? Is it still reflexive? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, is it anti-symmetric? Okay, <clears throat> anti-symmetric means for all the ordered pairs where the a is not equal to the b. In other words, this, this, and this. Uh, are there couples in there when we when we when we re reverse them? Is seven four in there? No, it's not. Is one seven in there? No, it's not. Is one four in here? No, it's not. So this here so far or four is reflexive. It is reflexive, uh, and or four is anti-symmetric. Okay. Now the question is: Is it is it transitive? Is R four transitive? Okay. Well, for R four to be transitive, excuse me. Uh, for R four to be transitive, uh, we need to make sure that once again, our definition, yeah, for every ordered pair, uh, that's 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 that we can line up against each other. That we can if every time we can take a journey, and then from that end point we can go from that end point to a new destination. We should be able to go from the original place to the final place. Yeah. So the question is whether this now is. Uh, well, we have to go through all of these pairings again. Okay. But let's keep in mind the only new one that we've thrown in is is four one. So we really only have to test everything against four one. Okay. So one one to four one. Let's try that. So one one. 4 1 if this is transitive we should be able to go from 1 to 1 which we can do okay uh, let's say oh well actually we don't actually we don't need to consider these because these two values here are different yeah so actually ignore that ignore okay uh, so 4 4 to 4 1 
you can see that here if it is transitive we'd have to be able to go from four to one which we can do uh, seven seven and four one no eight eight and four one no uh, four seven and four one no uh, seven one and four one no they're there none of them are required uh, they don't match they don't match up what about four one against all the rest so four one against one one that's the only one that it matches up with so actually now at this stage we can go from four to seven and seven to one and we can go from four directly into one this relation here now so we have or four is now transitive transitive okay and hence is a partial a partial order okay it is a partial order uh, of this particular of this particular set okay so guys I know that there was a lot of, there was a lot of work in that there okay uh, but I hope that this was in some way intuitive uh, it was a long way around to get there uh, but I mean what we're really covering here today was the concept of a partial order a partial order is simply a relation that's reflexive anti-symmetric and transitive okay um, and uh, once again my name is Jonathan Lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the National College of Ireland and I hope that this video was in some way <coughs> intuitive and more importantly I hope that was helpful for you okay and thanks for watching okay bye bye